All right, guys. Let's see if I can get this stream to Twitch set up. We will be going over the price of Bitcoin in just a moment, fam. I know this moment has been uh, long overdue. I apologize. Thank you to my audience for sticking with me through this uh, winter of uh, lack of content. I am Dude Knows. What's up, guys? Uh, I represent Global Crypto Perspectives right now. And I uh, hope to keep us all updated on the price of Bitcoin. Uh, keep all of my thoughts out there for my friends and family and whoever else would like to join the family. Um, I run a private chat group, which I would like to keep kind of clean. I'm sure uh, it'll be mostly you guys watching this so far. Um, let me just double check to see if this is working on Twitch or Holy shit, looks like uh, looks like it really might be. All right. So let's get right into it, guys. Um, first stream, so let's take a moment to appreciate it. One love. Uh, all right, not to waste your time here. So I did mention in the group, um, don't be surprised if we see 52K. Some good support here, but, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing a, a little wick here. Um, you know, we've had a lot of momentum going forward. Uh, let's start at the top and work our way down. Oh, come on here. Again, I am uh, in a tropical environment where the internet kind of sucks, so. Anyway, monthly looks beautiful, guys. Like, nobody should be worried, you know. I wanted to make this real quick in case people are worried. Everybody's talking about all-time highs. You know, in my experience in the market, which has been over four years now, um, usually with the kind of the momentum, what everybody's thinking, you know, uh, the markets will do the opposite on you. Uh, it's still a developing market without re any regulations. A lot of these exchanges know exactly where your stop losses are, and uh, they're out to get you. So, uh, unless you are actively trading, um, I do want to make this channel for everybody, uh, you know, beginners and vets, um, especially that kind of mid-range. Uh, so, let's keep you calm, cool, collected. Guys, the monthly looks beautiful. Uh, you know, we already hit, what was the all-time high here? Cool. It's just under 69, 68, is according to, to my calculations here. Um... So, I mean, guys, everything's fine. This is totally normal. Unless it's your first year in Bitcoin, I'm sure you're used to this shit. Uh, monthly looks beautiful, guys. Um, we close right up here. Highest all-time uh, monthly close. Everybody should feel great. Let's zoom in a little bit. I like to look at the two-week, actually. Uh, it's not super popular, but um, it's called a few tops. Um, two week, oh shit, we're on a nine, huh? So I use uh, the TD sequential, uh, it's been made popular recently uh, in Bitcoin, but has always been super popular in, in stocks, traditional markets, equities, whatever, commodities. Um, this isn't a huge call for concern, you know, it's like about, there's quite a bit off here, but. Um, we did have quite a run up if you got out around here, you still had a chance to get back in. Uh, I'm going to try and go through this rapid fire. I've got a bunch of altcoins I want to go through as well uh, that I owe to the group. And, um, oh, man. Yeah, so obviously this week's been terrible. Uh, we're at Thursday already. But, I mean, guys, I can see this keep keep going a little bit. Where have you got this? Yeah, I can see this going. I mean, you know, guys, we just got an old time high. You know, the fact that we didn't have a blow off top means to me that we're nowhere near the end of this cycle. Uh, I think everything's going to be completely fine. Uh, we might take another week or two. Honestly, I would see us consolidating in this in this range here is healthy. Really, I really would. And guys, we're going to build so much support here. So even if we spring up to 80, come back down, we're not going to break this shit again. You know, we're, we're building really strong support. Um, look at this range. It's quite a bit, actually, but... Uh, yeah, honestly, guys, weekly looks great. I, maybe I can, no, I probably can't draw much in there, but let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try and get something. So this would only be two points. But this can give us at least a price target. 
Maybe we hit this thing around here. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, 52 would be great for me. Uh, I said this in the group, don't be afraid to put some buy orders around there. It could just be a wick, you know, time, time will tell. Time allows us to, you know, the, the longer we stay at this price here, the better. Absolutely. Building support, and it's like, it's a mental thing too. I, I look at the charts in much more of a group psychology fashion than, than most others, I, I think, so. That's kind of my unique spin. I try and um, uh, put myself in the position of uh, the buyer and or seller rather. Yeah, guys, like we we had some momentum here. Couldn't break out um, again. Support right here between fifty two fifty four, guys. Even back. Where can I go? Maybe let me go back to the weekly real quick. Guys, even back around here, February, March, this was huge for us. This 52 to 54 range, granted we got up to 60, right? But in between this this here, this close, right around here, guys. And then once we broke this, we really took a catastrophic drop. So for me, and I was watching this line, I was watching this line, I probably should have deleted it by now to clean this up, but the second this started trading below here, you kind of knew, you kind of knew. And I would have stayed in this trade up until the high of this wick probably, right here on this six, which would have been 42, 42 was another key, key support and resistance level. And obviously we spent a bit of time below this at the 30s, but, um, and you know, same way up. Once we broke that, it was a pretty safe trade. I, I try to trade the breakouts more than anything. So, you know, trying to hunt for the exact bottom, you know, this was perfect. We hit this um, small, uh, short-term moving average here. But, um, so yeah, between 52 being strong support and kind of like, you know, I think that is shake a lot of the market, I think especially these retail investors that are getting in thinking and I've, I've even been confident that we're going up you know it's it's never a bad time to buy when you're in this kind of bull market but look you know we I you know to see some kind of healthy correction here then you, you have more confidence going forward so my blue line takes us this would be if this was sharp if this was like next couple of days and we hit 50 honestly yeah it would scare the shit out of people but then we'd come back up that much faster you know, a little bit of a slingshot effect. If we, you know, slowly are going down, you know, I think we hit 52, guys. You know? At least I wouldn't be surprised. And, you know, put some buy orders in around there. If you are, if you haven't gotten out, I wouldn't get out. You know, um, I'm a little more conservative in that sense. Um, I've said it in my group a million times, but I try and keep this about 80% hodl in Bitcoin and 20% alts where you're gambling. Um, and I will get to alts. Um, so 12 hour here. Any last thoughts on the daily, real quick? Sorry, guys. I will try and go a little quicker because I know we got we got plenty of alts to go through. Yeah, daily's got room to go down. I mean, we've got clearly got this little uh, short term moving average supporting us. The next support, obviously, is 55, 55, 54. Yeah, I mean. I think there's plenty of support on the way down, guys. I would be absolutely shocked if we broke 52. I mean, maybe a wick to 50. I would be shocked, guys. I'd be shocked if we broke this trend line or soon to be trend line, rather, or uh, this medium term moving average here. I'd be shocked. Um, And, you know, everybody always says, yeah, I have extra money on the side just in case it dips, right? I know that's hard to do, especially if, if you are already have been fully invested in crypto for some time. 12 hours says we got another day. You know, the weekends, guys, a lot of people don't like to trade the weekends. I don't really trade the weekends that much, but that's when crazy shit happens, you know? Like, they want to catch you sleeping. So, hey, you know, maybe today, tomorrow looks bad. And then I wouldn't be shocked if over the weekend we pass up too, you know, maybe a smaller correction down to 52 and then rock it, guys. This thing's going to rock it. It's not going to happen how everybody wants it to happen. It's just, you know, there's no f free money in the world in that sense, you know. It'd be too easy. This four-hour candle looks great for a reversal. Only 47 minutes left in the candle. Hey, man, not bad. 
Not bad at all. We got plenty of support around here, guys. Look at this. Look at this. So, actually, yeah, this would be pretty bad if we broke this, to be honest. But, I mean, there's just so much support here, guys. I think we're fine. Honestly, I, I'd be buying, if I had 100 bucks, just to talk percentages, right? I would, if I had 100 bucks to buy, I would already be buying probably 25% minimum here. And um, I'd probably go another 25% at around 55, 54, 55, call it 54, 7, let's say. And then I'd probably have nearly the rest at about 52, to be honest. And then wait to see a, a reversal and go from there. One hour. If you're short, trading super short term, one hour looks ready for a bounce. And it was going in line with that little four hour cut, but I wouldn't say that we're not going to 52 just because the four hour and the one hour look, look kind of promising. But yeah, you could definitely catch this. I, I think we'll go back up to about 60, probably get knocked down on this shit and back down to 52. It's totally healthy, guys. Let's try and run through uh, the other beauties here. Bitcoin dominance, guys. I think it's one of the most important charts. Um, let's see here. So for those of you that don't know, Bitcoin dominance is um, showing what percentage of the overall market cap is Bitcoin versus pretty much every other altcoin. So real quick, I'll show show this you know, for, for being the first video and all. I'll show the monthly. It's going to look ridiculous, but. All right. So obviously, Bitcoin was one of the only cryptocurrencies. Um, what is this? February 2017. It was 91.87. Uh, what was it? Oh no, I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. As of February 1st, it, it rained. The low was 95% uh, market cap. So you can see 2017 was the year of Ethereum, altcoins coming into the game. Um, yeah, February 2018 looks like we had the low. Could have been January, excuse me. And uh, if you were part of that run, yeah, man, that was some crazy shit. That was when Bitcoin went to 20K. Uh, all coins were just pumping like crazy. This is this is really where I got into Bitcoin. It was like in that 2017 run up, probably midway through the year. And, man, it was so emotional. It was crazy. And, dude, you kind of got to go through one of those runs to learn that trading can't be emotional. Um, other people are emotional. But when you take your emotions out of it, that's how you, you end up being successful. Um, you know, these casinos, man, they make money off 51% just because people are emotional too with it, riding, riding, riding a wave of, of success, getting all high. And then the thing is, when you do have success, you never want to sell. And then when you have a lack of success, we'll call it, then you get nervous and you're like, oh, I can't afford to lose anymore. And you panic sell. It's just all emotions, guys, fear and greed. So monthly here looks prime for alt season um you know let's see i'm never one to call an alt season too early but i mean on a monthly scale this looks exactly like uh alt season is gonna fucking roar oh my god i'm so sorry guys uh like bitcoin dominance is gonna absolutely roar um tricked myself out fuck that ah, first video guys what are you gonna do um, I think I did that in my chat group in the last time. I've been out of the trading game, guys, for a few months. I'm sorry uh, for those of you who have been following me. Um, but uh, the Dude Knows channel is commencing. And um, I'm going to have some sick music to get out of here for you guys, too. Uh, I'm going to create some culture for us. Try and save the world from this mental fucking hellhole uh, everybody's stuck in. Let's check out the two week. Uh, and by the way, guys, I am a Bitcoin, what other people would call a Bitcoin maximalist, you know, so I love to see this. I think a lot of these fucking altcoins are, uh, just, I don't want to say that they have bad intent, but, um, they have to understand that, you know, they're late to the game. They're, they're trying everything that any of these altcoins can do is going to be built on Bitcoin one day, guys. And absolutely, there's going to be plenty of opportunity to make money on that shit. 
don't get me wrong. But wow, I mean, yeah, two week isn't telling me too much. I mean, it doesn't look great. Oh, they'll get that. It looks like a, it's pretty limp. Weekly. God, let's see here. Actually, weekly looks a little more promising. We're breathing. We're breathing. Um, yeah, high, high or low? I don't have too much to say on it, guys. Honestly, it's not telling me that that much. I'll see the daily. See if the daily tells us anything. Again, monthly higher time frames always triumph, right? Monthly was oh wow, look at this whole conjoining here. These moving averages. Let's see if this axis resistance. Let's see if this axis resistance on the daily could show us back down. I know everybody wants all season to blow up because everybody, you know, feels like they miss Bitcoin already. But you know, if Bitcoin goes to 200k, you do four extra money. I mean, you know, greed kills. Greed will fuck you. Greed's what fucked everybody in in uh, the last run up. It fucks everybody in every run up, right? It's all our, not telling me much. I think these are the two most important charts though, guys. Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance. And then that tells you where the altcoins are headed. Obviously, Ethereum leads them. You can look at the Ethereum chart. I trade everything versus USD because it's stable. It allows me to have a consistent picture on everything. Um, you know, and then one dramatic Bitcoin move doesn't mess up all of your analysis. So look at this call on the four hour. Beautiful. Um, awesome. Relatively big candles. Um, when does this close in 40 minutes it's not enough to trade off of you know I mean it's an inverted hammer usually it would be a little bit of a tie maybe we do come down a little bit but not anything to trade on guys not, not, not giving me any clear direction so monthly was super clear it looks like Bitcoin is going to dominate but again Nothing on the top, smaller time frames is telling me much. And, you know, within the monthly, I mean, you know, unless you're really trading those higher time frames. I will check out the ETH Bitcoin charts. I know everybody will want me to. But, again, generally speaking, I look at Bitcoin dominance to tell me how the altcoins are going to do. See ETH on the monthly. ETH looking great. These nines can be continuation nines. Look, we had a continuation nine here. I'll go like more into rules as, as the channel goes on and matures. Yeah, guys, don't worry about any any kind of crypto on the, on the monthly chart, guys. This shit's gonna boom. You know, uh, two week as yeah, a little toppy, but I haven't really used the two week for altcoins as much. Oh man, this looks like a little bit. Of, mm. Let's just see. We drew one. That. Yeah, I mean it's similar to Bitcoin, guys. Even if you wanted to go with bars closed instead of wicks, as long as you're consistent, it doesn't really matter. I mean, honestly, yeah, it looks like ETH's already kind of taken big, its big sandwich, uh, butter the sandwich here. You're gonna have to make a fresh one. Hold the mayo, ranch, and sriracha, please. Oh, look at this, guys. Beautiful. Honestly, I love to see this. Looks like a little perfectly healthy correction. Coming back at a previous high. Yeah, this looks great, actually. What is this? Daily. Guys. You get 200 bucks to spare. I think this thing bounces. Probably over the weekend. Maybe next week. Maybe, maybe early next week. How would that be from a weekly close? Let's go back and see this shit real quick. I'm already making this video a lot longer than I intended. Yeah, I think I think Ethereum's fine, guys. I'm probably gonna delete that trend line. Twelve hours telling me the same thing. A couple days we can bounce back. Love to draw a couple more trend lines, but I do want to get to all the alts and uh, out of respect to your time here. Let's zoom. I know everybody's probably trading a little bit more short term. I'm going to try and do videos every Tuesday, Wednesday night, whatever. You know, ends up working. I think I might do Tuesday English, Wednesday Portuguese. 
Um, honestly, this looks. This is a. So this is a hammer. Um, this is usually a reversal signal. So as imagine like the psychology of this move here, right? It dips down. Everybody immediately buys it back up, and now we're hanging up around the top here. Less than forty minutes in this candle. So and looking looking at our previous levels of resistance and support. Honestly, it looks great to me. I think we will see a short-term bounce pretty much throughout the whole market. I mean, I don't have everything listed. I got like some S&P shit, some Microsoft, some, some other big big PayPal, whatever, some other security companies, but and weed stocks and shit. But overall, I think the, the global markets have, have taken a hit the past 24 hours or more. Hourly creeping up as well. Same, same as Bitcoin, guys. Same as Bitcoin. If you're like an intraday trader... Keep an eye out if you're just trading, like like literally day trading. I think be, I'd be a little bit bullish here. And um, intraday, you know, swing trades. I'd actually be looking for that. That would be the 52k equivalent. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I actually don't think Ethereum goes that much lower. Tough to get history on the one hour here, but let's watch it. Let's watch it. I mean, obviously, if you break this swing low, at, what is this shit? 3961. I think 4K is a pretty good mental barrier too, but let's see. Um Alright, what else? Litecoin. This had blown the fuck up, hit about three hundred last time. Uh let's see, monthly. Yeah, holy shit, look at this. So hit 400 in May. We came up to 295, not quite three. But Litecoin's going, guys. Litecoin's going. I actually think Litecoin's a pretty safe play. I mean, dude, it's useless to a degree, but at the same time, whenever I, it, I mean, it's not useless. Right? Like I, I usually cash out to Litecoin because it's just a little bit quicker, easier. I still feel it's super secure. Um, and I mean, dude, everybody's trying to get like the next Bitcoin. Like, you guys got to imagine a lot of the market that's coming in that's retail. Like, uh, you know, they feel like they already missed the Bitcoin train. A lot of the Bitcoin, uh, you know, kind of focus right now, I think, is coming from institutions. But you know, even in my chat group, it seems like a lot of people are are just trying to go for that hundred X. Guys, fucking two week looks beautiful. Looks absolutely beautiful. I actually love. Um, this consolidation here going up, ascending triangle already breaking through, little ascending triangle here. Looks great, guys. Looks great. Um, I have a little bit of a position in Litecoin. I'll be honest, I've been in very similar positions for quite a bit. Yeah, that's a tough week after that week. What can you expect, guys? You know, it looks it's not quite a bearish engulfing though. Let's see how the how the last few days of the week plays out that, that actually could be a little bit bad if, if it ends up being a bearish engulfing oh yeah and daily says uh watch out what is this at here got to get rid of this red shit at a buck 95 buck 90 yeah no it doesn't tell me a buck 96 buck 85 yeah i mean if you can scoop up litecoin under 200 bucks fuck it <laughs> no no fuck it go go for it at least a small position, right? I'm just gonna check what other coins I really want me to go over. Shit. Excuse me, guys. So sorry. Guys, first first stream here, you know, I know it sucks. I fucked up the Bitcoin dollars, but what are you going to do, guys? What are you going to do? All right, I got to go through FXS real quick um, as well. Litecoin on the shorter time frames. Yeah, fuck, actually doesn't look too good, guys. Everything has got this little inverted hammer going, or I'm sorry, hammer going. 
And also, guys, I'm doing streams a hey, hourly nine right here. You could try and catch this on Litecoin if you're you got some leverage going. I say still around two twenty real quick. You can catch that for sure. Catch that wave. Catch that wave. Catch that wave, fam. Man, Forex is up at twenty two. Oh man, it's gonna go into hibernation again, huh? Let's see. Yeah, guys, this month looks great. We hit. 27. That was around the all-time high previously. The, uh, we hit almost 30. Man, I think this thing keeps going. I really do. You know, short term, it's gonna follow the market. It's definitely gonna correct, guys. You don't just go up like with a yeah, like nine and two week. I haven't tried the two week for all as much. Let's, let's cut that out. Um, yeah. Yeah, weekly. I mean, guys, it'd be healthy to take a break. I, I think we see single digits again for sure. You know. Um, I wouldn't sell everything. Frax is actually one of the only coins I'm just fucking hodling all the way through. I don't know. Maybe I should stick to my strategy. Um, I wanted to sell at 30, and now I decided this was, like, the one coin I was going to hodl all the way through. You know, cost myself a lot doing that. But these small market caps, guys, you can't you just can't predict them. They're just so easy to move the market. This 9 called it pretty well. You know, maybe we need another week to reset, but... Um, I don't study technicals too much, uh, or I'm sorry, um, fundamentals too much, but I'm purely a kind of technical guy, but, um, Frax is something I've been knowledgeable about for quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, I think we go down another leg, for sure. It's just, guys, we went up too much too fast, it's just, this is not how the world works. This is healthy, guys, this is totally healthy. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is totally healthy. If we even retrace half of this, it's fine. It's totally fine. I mean, obviously, it'd be great if, you know, we, we didn't just break. If we Once we break this blue, guys, this, this is not a lot holding us up. I'd say this swing around here will definitely stop us. We can probably bounce up again. But I'd be damned. If we don't... I'd say... I'd, I could see us hitting a wick at 750 at some point, guys. I'm not saying when... But at some point, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked for sure. I wouldn't be shocked. So keep that in mind. I stake a bunch of my shit, so I'm probably not going to touch it. And I don't anybody's trading fracks on this short of a time frame, but it does look like it's good for a bounce. All right. Sushi. I mean, these co coins aren't that hot right now, but um, last year I was in love with sushi. Uh, it was one of my most successful trades. If you were in my group, we rode that from like two to seven, no problem, and then got out and in a bunch of more times. I made a ton off sushi. I'll just do a weekly real quick in case somebody's in it long term. But again, I've got a fuck ton of these things to run through. Oh, Jesus, look at that last week, huh? Um, oof. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look good. Uh, we got tons of this six bucks. Jesus. Let me see the monthly real fast. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. See, she doesn't look that great. Looks pretty shit. Um, SNX 9J. It looks like all of DeFi is taking a pretty big hit. Yeah, I think BNB is gonna be a coin. You know, say what you will about the centralization of finance, but um, you know, Ethereum needs needs to share some of the market cap. BNB looks like they're they're ready to take on some. And man, CC's been fucking up a bit. I pulled a ton of my money out um, out of Binance in July, and that's kind of what started my cold spell of not trading. I didn't want to trust another platform. Um, I've heard rumblings about KuCoin. I'll probably end up setting my shit up there. I honestly am still like not even set up trading consistently. I've maybe made one or two moves out of my meta wallet in the past few months, guys. Seriously, like it's not like I've been trading here and you guys have been missing out on my info or anything. I've been like really kind of doing my own thing, getting the music ready, getting getting a new lifestyle set up here, and starting this brand, Global Crypto Perspectives, and dude, motherfucking knows, get at me. Um, I'm gonna switch up the, the Twitter. I'm sorry, I don't do Twitter. The Instagram, uh, dude knows underscore, I think. Let's see. Uh, so anyway, B and B on the weekly, not telling me much, but I don't think I think we hang around here, guys. Like, look at all the support we got. This previous swing, these previous swing lows here. I think there's plenty of support in the next fifty bucks or so. Unless like the whole market comes down, dude. I think we're fine. So 
I think medium term play. Oops, what did I do? Monthly we looked at. Weekly. Uh, weekly doesn't look great, but I mean, guys, fuck it. Like, you know. Oh, actually, day looks pretty bad. Day looks pretty bad, guys. I think we almost. I think it's very likely we hit 500. Again, longer term, guys. Like, BNB will be fine. BNB will be fine. BNB will hit all time highs, I bet. In the next, you know, in the next little run here, like dot BNB, these Ethereum, you know, killers, they're coming after them. They're coming after some of that market cap, especially if they can figure out their damn fees. It's another reason I've been trading. You don't want to trade out of your MetaMask wallet, right? Unless you're going really longer term, which is what I was doing. Guys, pretty much everything looks similar. Like, you know, it looks like it's going to be shit the next 48 hours. And hopefully we bounce. Even short term, though, BNB isn't looking great. So I would say very long term, you know, and again, if you're, you know, into the morality of this shit, maybe you don't invest in BNB in hourly. Again, short bounce back. Guys, all, all these alts are kind of looking the same right now. I might end the video kind of soon. I'll do dot. I do want to go through all this bullshit small cap coins I got here. I at least got to do Soul, ADA. Yeah, fuck. There were there were a lot of requests. Dot. I said it was a good medium term. Um, guys, just hold on to it. Again, all these coins that are you know blue chips, I think they're safe to invest in. You know, like the more conservative person goes eighty percent Bitcoin, never touches it. And then 20%, I'd have, honestly, at least 3 maybe 4% of my overall portfolio in DOT. Um, I get the pair chance. You know, everybody, everybody, I'm sure, and is a little bit more up-to-date on the fundamental side. We're looking for some technical analysis here, I understand. Wow, blew through that 9, huh? This is uh, continuing to the downside. I don't like to see three wicks like this, guys. When you see a wick... And then the next week's a little bit lower, and then the next one's even lower than the previous two. Guys, it's a bad sign. This was the little relief rally, and it's coming down again. But again, all the alts are. We have some good support here, especially 38. We're at 40, 38. That's fine. That's fine. I think we have plenty of support here, guys. But look at last time we broke that. I had quite a downfall. I wouldn't panic, guys. I wouldn't panic. I see us bouncing back. If you're looking for a position to get in, yeah, I'd say between 34, 37, 34, 38. Jesus. It's fucking cold. For a trouble island, at least, and this guy just ran by me going to go surf. I'm not really a surfer. I surf these fucking waves right here. Yeah. Guys, these are all impulse psychological waves here, guys. Like, these charts represent their data points of everybody buying and selling. And you need a buyer and a seller for each transaction, right? Yeah, I thought four hour, guys. Not looking great either. It's actually looking more bearish than the other alts. Again, I'm sorry I'm not like describing what I'm looking at and stuff. I'm trying to go through this. It's already been quite a bit. I know we got a lot of alts to look at. I'm just trying to get like some really high level. Like trying to make sure nobody gets fucked. Ah, oh, it looks fine, guys. You guys, all these all coins are looking the same. Honestly, 88 guys at a buck 80. It already had nearly a 50% retracement. It hit like three bucks. I think 88 is going to make another move relatively soon. Let's see if I can pinpoint that a little more accurately. Oh my god, look at the monthly guys called it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh Jesus blew right back dude almost I'm sure everybody and their mother wanted to get in on this nine. And yeah, I mean it went from two to two forty man. That's that's money. That's money for sure, but where could it get down to? Uh, 
I'd say including this moving average. Sorry. Uh, if I was a betting man, I sure as hell am. I'd probably say about a buck twenty-five. I think buck fifty will be really great if you if you can get a ADA in between a, a buck fifty a buck fifty-five. It could be a low. Bounce back up. But I mean, yeah, this thing really blew up. It could come back down. It could use it could use some time to correct. Everybody wants to get into the coins that are hot. Guys, you gotta get into the coins that are cold and then rise with them. So like ADA will be a sleeper relatively soon. Give it give it some time, right? But I'm gonna keep my eye on ADA for sure. For sure. And again, I know the technology might be shit, but guys, people people still buy Ripple. You know, it's fucking unbelievable. Um. All right. Yeah. Daily again. Saying the same thing, guys. A lot of these altcoins they follow the market. Um. Same fucking thing. Looks like the next couple of days are shit. A couple of these altcoins again. If you're like really keeping your eye on the market, you can catch like catch a little bounce. But I definitely would not like be fucking around. Always use a stop loss. If you're gonna do this, guys, you can do this stuff. You can go in on it. Just use a stop loss. Be responsible. Um. You know, I used to trade from my phone. I don't do that anymore, so that's why I, I could kind of like go in and out. I was always watching it. I didn't really necessarily need a stop loss because I checked it so fucking often. But I'm just a different trader at this point. I think I'll get back into it. I'll be checking it like every second again, like I was. But curve guys will be a keeper. Four bucks is a little. It's not at like those ancient levels where it used to be. Let's check out monthly. Oh shit. There was 23 bucks this first month. That single slowly work is way up, guys. Cur curve is in it for the long haul, for sure. Um, Again, I do want to hurry us up. LRC was requested. I think GR2 was requested. We've got next. God, these markets are getting killed, huh? Yeah, loop ring. Holy shit. I'm breaking the previous all-time high. Yeah, man, got to send it. I mean, I don't think anybody could have seen that kind of explosion. Was it 3X? It's opened at 40 cents. It's too weak. Check the weekly. It's opened at 63 cents at the beginning of the month. Hit four dollars. Holy fuck. Good for whoever the fuck was holding on to that shit. But yeah, guys, I mean I think this thing comes down, dude. Like th these these moves just don't happen that often. And it's gonna probably gonna be a nice long winter for LRC. I think you can buy back about one fifty. That'd be my, my target. Yeah. Mm, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna be a long winter. Catch a four hour bounce. I, w I wouldn't touch it though. I really wouldn't touch it. It's, it's time is coming gone for this bounce at least. You can get something here on the one hour. This looks great. One hour should keep going. One hour could take you up to about 240 if you're like playing with leverage and shit, which I, I personally don't recommend, but 245 you can get 10 cents off it. GRT. Are there any other I can think of? And then I'll, I'll start going into these super small altcoins where. You know, without a lot of price history, it's actually pretty tough. Again, hourly bouncing, guys, all oh, it's just the same. All oh, it's just the same. I mean, because we already hit 280 and like we're at 90 cents right now, I, yeah, this has a lot more room to go. Actually, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, that weekly is tough, though, right off the fucking inverted hammer, too. Fuck. Guys, I'll start talking more triangles. I, I eyeball triangles. I don't want to like 
with Bitcoin, I don't mind drawing shit. I'll, I, I should have drawn more shit. I don't mind drawing shit, but guys, I'm not going to draw charts for every fucking altcoin. Hey, I mean, we're coming up on a nine. You know, I think this is one of the first nines I've seen on an altcoin on the daily coming. Um, nines are probably, I usually go, I look at the candlesticks first. The candlesticks are number one, but TD. I use the Fisher as well. This is like a customized Fisher. Um, I glance at it. I don't. I don't always rely on this, but I'd say in that order. So I, I love my moving averages too. I actually use those more than more than um, I gave credit for. But yeah, twelve hours says a couple of days. But again, four hour. Remember to handle. It came even lower than this though a few days ago. And hourly coming back. Alright, I'll look at a couple of these. Oh, Saul. I guess I'll, so we're gonna do. I don't even think I have. I have Saul in there somewhere, but guys, I don't know. It'll be faster to just type this shit in here. Actually, will it? Let's check Binance for Saul. Monthly could be top in here, guys. I mean, er again, everything looks the same. 12 days left. It's, you know, it's, you can't really... That's not telling me anything, but let's see how the monthly goes. If the monthly were to close, I would say this is bearish, 100%. 100%. Without a doubt. Looks like a top to me. But, you know, it was 12 days. Fuck that. You know. Take it with a grain of salt. Hmm. Yeah, I actually, you know, weekly doesn't look great. Let's see how the daily looks. Yeah, daily looks like shit, huh? I mean, guys, you know, we went from, you know, like, what was this, 40 bucks, 200, 5x, in just a couple months. So guys, you know, all these things go in movements and in waves, you know, everybody hears about the new coin, everybody buys it, gets dumped on, oh, what's the new coin, you know, these things go in waves here. Again, guys, two days, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I gotta, I'm actually gonna go see my girl right now too, so she's waiting on me. Um, and I was like in the middle of editing a song. I, I probably won't be around this weekend. I'm hoping my next video will be Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday for English, probably Wednesday for Portuguese. My Portuguese is it's pretty good, but um, not as formal. I guess my English, I'm not speaking too formally here either. Huh? I mean, guys, you know, revisiting this 180 region is totally healthy, guys. Don't be scared. It's another 10, 15%. Don't be scared. Buy soul around 180. I mean, wait, no, no, wait, wait to see. Sorry about that. So wait to see how we react off this 180. Cause yeah, if we break down below this 180, you're going straight down. Dude. There's no, there's nothing saving you. But I mean, look at all the support, guys. One, two, three touches, almost on the horizontal. Wick came down. You know, I think we come down a little bit more, but. I actually think this is pretty solid support. This is like that 52k range for Bitcoin. You know, I'd say they pretty much co coincide. I think we'll bounce. You know. And again, one hour looks great. Um, guys, unfortunately, I'm going to cut it here. Um, my brother Cole, I will I will take a note on all your little shit coins and, uh, and gee too and get back to you guys. Next one uh, I'll do, I'll spend like a couple hours on this shit and I'll go through everything. I'll go through s and P. I I just want to give everybody a little bit of breathing room, feel better about, about it. Um, you know, I probably spoke too generally on this. I know I didn't give a ton of targets out, but um, because I'm going to be gone the next four or five days and um, I'm just starting out, you know, Need to get some mistakes out of the way, get the functionality of this shit running. You know, I had to do an offline video and I'm, I'm gonna upload it. Um, I'm trying to stream this to, to Twitch, who knows what the quality is like right now. But um, I recorded it, we'll upload it to YouTube for everybody. 
Um, also, if you do personally know me, I'm trying to stay anonymous, so please, you know, don't blow me up and, and you know, fucking be calling me by my names and shit. Um, I'd appreciate it. Trying to stick to the dude knows alias here. But, um, yeah, it was nice chilling, guys. Again, hopefully next time it'll be a little better. Again, first video, my bad. But, um, keep it real, fam. One love. Love y'all. Uh, hopefully I can keep you guys out of the that fucking shark infested water whale infested water and um, We'll rise the ranks together fam uh, again one love and uh, Keep it real